What's up everybody, this is Scratch, got a quick video here for you. This one involves a new controller update that is rolling out to Xbox Insider, so if you don't have it yet, that's why, because it's not rolled out to everybody, or if you do have it and it works, then maybe you're watching this video long after it was published. But, this particular feature was kind of hidden on the Series X. Now, Maca91, who do, he does a bunch of guides on YouTube, I'll link him down in the description, uh, to this to his video as well, but you should definitely check his content out He pointed this out that it works with old series s controllers or series x controllers uh, That came with the system, but it didn't work on say like the elite series 2. So now this update is coming to Legacy controllers, which is a pretty cool feature now You're gonna see my cameras autofocus here really fast, but I want to show you what I'm talking about the feature is this right there on that button if I, well, let me turn it over here. If I double tap it, you see it blink twice. Now I'm on Bluetooth. If I double tap it again, it blinks once and I'm back to the Xbox. It's really cool. I'll demonstrate it in just a second, but that is the update that is coming out. So let's just see it in action, right? But real quick before we do that, I wanna show you how to get the update or make sure that your controller is updated. This will help you with troubleshooting and everything else. Now, typically what'll happen is when you first boot up and plug in, it's just gonna, it's gonna say that it needs an update when you connect the controller. Um, but I wanna show you just real quick, I do make chapters down so you can go down to the bar and you can skip to the next thing if you don't wanna see this. But this is where you can check for your updates. So if I hit the Nexus button, and go over to wherever your profile and system are and then go down to where it says settings and click on that and go down to device and connections click on accessories it'll show your controller there you can pick the three dots right here and then of course it says no update available and then up at the top it tells me what my uh, firmware version is but that's how you can update or check for an update if you have a problem with your controller or anything this applies well beyond this update um, but what's going to happen this time is it should just automatically say that your controller needs an update when you boot up but if not that's where you do it so let's click over to the demonstration this is this is really good okay so in the upper left hand corner we're looking at my xbox series x home screen and in the lower right hand corner we're looking at my galaxy tab s7 plus screen on the Xbox app and as you can see here I'm using the controller we well, can't really see the controller but I am controlling it with the controller now I'm going to double tap that button and I wait just half a second and then you will see everything pick up down below and you can see me um, highlighting the different things down here and loading and doing that and then I can double tap again and wait just a half a second and then it goes back to this so it is a pretty good feature to have for this controller. I, you can think of all the scenarios that this solves between hopping back and forth between devices, xCloud, your Xbox, your maybe your PC or whatever the case. It's definitely a game changer for me. I'm really happy to see this. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Is this a feature that you'll use? I'm assuming, I'm, I mean, why wouldn't you? I don't know, but maybe you can tell me why down in the comments. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Again, make sure to check out Maca91 down in the description. He talked about this a couple of months ago, I think it was, when the feature was first sort of discovered. Um, he was one of the first ones to kind of talk about it and bring it out. And really surprised that it was kind of an unknown sort of thing until he made that video. So really glad, though, to see it coming to all controllers um, in the latest update on the Xbox Insider. And if you want to keep up with that information... I know I don't do the greatest job recently, but if you want to keep up with that information, um, I do it right here. Make sure you click, hit me up in the comments on the community tab or whatever, and we'll get the videos out as soon as I can. And I appreciate all the support. Thanks for watching.